Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Michael Raman, CEO and co-founder of VidiCare. We are a company dedicated to improving the lives of seniors through our AI-powered robots. My journey starts with my grandma, who was crippled and couldn't afford home nursing. So, my aunt had to take care of her. This was detrimental on both of them, and seeing the toll that it took on both of them, me, my CTO, and my COO created Vivi. Vivi is our AI robot caregiver that embodies our values, sustainability, quality, and efficiency. I would now like to introduce you to my team, because without any of them, this would not be possible. First of all, is our COO, Manya. Hello, my name is Manya Patel. And before we dive into our um, the policy logistics, I'd like to give you guys a background on how financially we got here. So in our first year, we required funding from our friends and family, and in our second year, we were able to acquire a half a million dollar grant from Stanford, where we were able to create more sophisticated software and technology, leading us to co-develop with Vivi with iRobot. Now, now let's take a look into our product, Vivi. So, Vivi will improve the lives of elderly and their family. Vivi will aid and assist the elderly's day-to-day -day lives, and Vivi will revolutionize the home healthcare industry. We, we plan to buy, the, to buy the machines from iRobot and install our proprietary software before leading, leasing them to home healthcare providers. And based on the profitability that we are projecting, we are considering investing heavily in R&D in years two and three in order to manufacture our own capable and advanced robots. Now I'll pass it on to us, CTO. Hi, I'm VVCTO. VC, VC and why would you buy these products? So there are many companies that have built a healthcare robot in the past, but uh, they didn't, didn't, they fell in the market because the technology didn't exist, the unique capability to provide to make them uh, use products easier for both the patients and for the care providers too. For example, uh, voice enable command control, remote control operation, SOS signals to first responders, medicine dispensers, medicine dispenser, uh, video calling, and uh, a self-diagnostic, and also a 24-7 monitoring to ensure reliability. Um, for our VV, we make sure we use the advantage of uh, AI and uh, and open source of software, hardware, to enhance your reliability in a cost-effective way. And now let me introduce you to uh, our CMO. Good afternoon, my name is Vanessa Chang and I am the CMO of VB Care. There's a growing number of elderly needing home health care. That is where we come in. We plan to market VB to the over 500,000 home health care providers in America. The first challenge we face are health care providers who choose not to use VB who would then be met with continuously increasing employee costs. Second is, the, is other robotic healthcare companies who try to enter the market, to which we would have the advantage of being first to market. Our marketing plan is to focus on getting media coverage. We are also budgeting money for our CEO to travel and to be on news programs and talk shows. We are also going to produce a high quality video to demonstrate BB to our potential customers. Last, we are going to offer a co-advertising budget of up to 3% of sales to our customers to help promote VV in their local market. Up next is our CFOs. Sales, in other words, here comes the money. Don't worry, investors, because our team got, get, got your back. So, the sales industry, the home healthcare industry is currently valued at a value of $152 billion worldwide with an annual growth rate of 7.7% annually and with over half a million current providers in the United States alone. But we are also seeing a 12%, we have seen a 12% decrease over the last six years in its labor force. Out goes the people and comes the robots. <laughs> so, our goal is to corner at least 0.1% of the entire market, which is an astonishing little amount. However, that is sufficient enough for us to, for 
us to reach our financial goals over the next three years. We will do that by, first of all, leasing our robots to our partnerships, which is the individual healthcare providers, and then they lease the robots down to the customers. Additionally, and along with that, we provide the technological support so that every customer could enjoy our robot if there was an issue with our robot, it could be solved within 30 minutes. I am now going to turn it over to my other part, Elsie, our other CSO. Good afternoon, my name is Elsie Yang, and our go-to market strategy is to lease VV robot to home health care providers to su supplement their existing staff. Average pay for a home health care worker is $37,000 per year. Our leasing model for VV is to charge just $18,000 per year. Moreover, many workers call in sick or take time off. Both cause schedule problems. It's hard to find new staff. It's expensive and time-consuming to interview, run background checks, pay taxes, workmen's paychecks, and insurance. On the other hand, VV's more reliable and less prone to human error. We believe we can add 50 home health care provider partners, leasing 20 units each in year one, 150 partners in year two, and 300 partners in year three. Next, I'd like to introduce our CHRO, Stanley. Thank you, Elsie. Hello, everyone. My name is Stanley Nguyen. And in our company, we have implemented three fundamental values within HR. The first being a dynamic, dynamic plan. In addition to that, we are recruiting top students from the Bay Area universities. We will also be establishing connections with employment-focused platforms such as Indeed and LinkedIn. For our second value at VV Care, we will be focusing on employees. We will be offering employees competitive salaries, flexible schedules, employee benefits, and room to grow careers along with the company as it grows. It allows us to hire those who are best fit for the job and it allows satisfaction for our employees, which is important to us. For our third and final fundamental value, we will be flexible and able to adapt to future conditions, such as future pandemics or changes in foreign relations. Passing on to, passing on to Anne, our CRD, CFO. Thank you for the introduction, Stanley. I would like to introduce you our financial outlook. In the first year, we'll put, we are projecting to make $1.8 million on the lease of 1,000 1, units that is covering, covering, after covering our expenses and product costs. In the year two and three, as you can see, our, our revenues and pro profits grow exponentially. So what is what enables VV Care to be so profitable? We buy a robot for $8,000 and add our proprietary softwares and lease it to healthcare companies. For $18,000, like our CSOs mentioned, which, have, which is half the cost of a human healthcare provider. Our expenses include employee salary and RD expenses, maintenance, and at the end of our first year, we're projecting to increase 60 6,000 units, leading to an EBITDA of more than $29 million. In the third year, the cumulative reven revenues is $131 million, and the EBITDA is 65, succeeding $67 million. And now I'm passing to our CEO. Thank you, Juan. Uh, so currently, the U.S. home healthcare market is consolidating with large companies and acquiring smaller ones. For instance, Baxter International recently acquired Hillroom for $10.5 billion. Their goal was to improve patient care from the hospital to the home. Amidst the wave of consolidation, the potential acquisition of EV care emerges as a high probability outcome. 
For these reasons, I am looking for a $10 million investment for a 20% stake in our company. This equates to one times a three-year average EBITDA. This will help us continue to expand and grow for the next three to five years over the course, and leading us to a better acquisition. Thank you for your time. I'm Michael Lowe, the CEO of Intel.